Hello friend, I am Samadhi back with a new tutorial video regarding soil mechanics. In my last video, I talk about gravitational force as an interparticle force. This video, I gonna discuss about surface force as an interparticle force in soil mass. From this video, you can learn what do you mean by surface force, how this force is acting and where in which kind of particle this force is acting and type of surface force as an interparticle force in soil mass. Watch the video till the end, brush up your concept, enrich your knowledge. If you are new, then subscribe the channel, press the bell icon because I am coming with this type of video. In my last video, I talk about gravitational force. First, what do you mean by surface force? In very simple language, surface force, that is something that related to surface. So this force basically acting on internal surface or external surface of a particular material or particular body or particular particles. If we go in the deep, surface force can be two types. That is one is normal force and a shear force. If this is a perpendicular, then that is a normal force. If that is the parallel shear. If you want to know more, and there is I button. You can see the normal force and shear force. So now how the surface force has interparticle force? In soil mechanics, there is a very fine sample and for those fine samples, the particles from the colloids as they meet a colloid specific surface area is more and as specific surface area more so due to soil phenomenon their surface force is generated. Now we talk about for which particle this force is acting. See the force is acting on everybody. That may be gravitational force, that may be surface. If particle is bigger then the specific surface is less and weight is more. Due to more weight, the value of gravitational force is much more higher than the surface force. So in this case, the gravitational force is dominating. For smaller particles, their surface specific surface area is very large, whereas mass is very less. Due to less mass, here gravitational force is less dominating rather than surface force. So for clear understanding, for here we can say those particles who are very small fine particle for those surface force is acting so basically surface force is acting for clay and silt the particle size less than 4.75 mm now we talk about types of surface force generally there is a two types of surface force one is attractive force and second is repulsive force. so let's talk about attractive in attractive force as per scientist lamp 1953 there is a six possible types of attractive force. number one van der waals london Ford. number to hydrogen bond, number three cation linkage, number four dipole cation linkage, and number five water water dipole linkage, and six is the ionic bond. You know that a general force is the universal attractive force, and hydrogen bond can be affected for the hydrogen and hydroxyl group. And you are no further more when we talk about kaolinitic soil and cation linkage. That means there is a bridge between two adjacent particles carrying negative charge. And we will know about when you start the elite soil structure. Here is some example. So this is the example of hydrogen bond number two cation linkage. Here you can see some plus plus ion. They are making a bridge between two negative charge ion or colloid. Then water dipole linkage. It's the same bridge between water and dipole. And last is dipole cation dipole linkage. First there are two negative charge particles. Then water particles. Then again cation. So here is a negative charge two side then water particles from two sides and then in middle there is a dipole linkage now we talk about repulsive force so basically there is a two types of repulsive force one is particle charge and second is cation and ion repulsion we know that if same charge is there they are repulsive in nature so here is some example so this is the example of particle repulsion due to particle chain charges there are two negative negative charges that is why there is a may happen some repulsion here is some cation repulsion there is a plus plus charges and they are repulsed and they are creating repulsion force between themselves and here is movement of cation how this movement is happening because they are both in the same charge so there is a happening repulsion that is why that small small dis displacement happen so yeah that's it from my side so in this video i gonna show you what do you mean by surface force and for which particle this surface force is act for which particle this surface force is acting types of surface force and furthermore types of attractive force and types of repulsive force so yeah just doubt do comment in the comment section still if you are watching my video subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for never miss an update because i'm coming with this types of video almost every day thank you for watching this video more knowledge more opportunity